everyone, and thanks for being here today. I'm Andrew martinez Fonts, and I'm a group product manager here at Contentful. I'm delighted to share our latest apps, Compose and Launch. We've built these apps to help spread the builder ethos. They give content teams powerful tools to build, edit, and deliver content within Contentful. Compose gives editors a familiar page-based interface to manage their web content, allowing them to get up to speed in minutes and work faster every day. It utilizes structured content, which means it's as flexible and scalable as everything else in Contentful. Launch allows teams to collaborate more effectively and to deliver faster. It groups the content for large projects into releases that can be scheduled for publishing together. It also adds powerful planning and collaboration tools, including a calendar view of all the scheduled events in your space and the ability to add workflow states to your content. Together, Compose and Launch let content teams work faster and contentful and deliver business critical projects more efficiently than ever. Compose and Launch are standalone applications in the Contentful platform. They use content from spaces, are built on our open APIs, and leverage our app framework. They're just purpose-built for editorial teams. Compose is built for content creators and editors, and Launch is built for content planners and campaign managers. I'll start by installing the apps in my space. I do that from the Contentful web app, where they're featured in the top of the apps tab. The apps are included in our enterprise plans, and team tier customers will be able to purchase them for a monthly fee. Each app is installed separately, and they're installed at the environment level, just like other apps in the marketplace. Once the apps are installed, I can open them here, or I can use this new app switcher in the left navigation. The Contentful web app is here, along with Compose and Launch. Let's start with Compose. Before we get too far into Compose, it's worth explaining why we built a new content editor let alone one that's focused on web pages. One of Contentful's strong points is omni-channel delivery, but our data shows us that the vast majority of our customers are still using Contentful to deliver web pages. And a common piece of feedback that we get from editorial teams is that our tools can be overwhelming to new users coming from a traditional web CMS like WordPress. So our approach with Compose was to keep the things that make Contentful scalable and future-proof but present them in a more user-friendly experience that makes it easy for content editors to work quickly in Contentful from day one. When I open Compose for the first time in an empty space, I have to set up a specific content model before I start creating content. For this demo, I'm gonna choose the guided setup because it explains what's going on in a bit more detail. In Compose, everything hinges on a content type called page, which references an SEO metadata content type. I can set both of those up quickly by clicking this button. Once that's done, I need to create my first page type. The page type hangs off of the parent page content type, and some typical examples are landing page, help article, or news article. Back in Compose, I'll name my first page type landing page. Compose will configure some of the more detailed settings for me, and then I'm directed to the web app to finish configuring the content types that my landing page will include. The last step is to create a preview environment so that editors can see what their pages will look like with a front end. This is nothing new, just something that needs to get done. If we rewind back to the beginning of the setup process, there's also a quick start option, which is intended to get users into Compose quickly and without having to understand any modeling requirements. When I choose quick start, this friendly stork does all the heavy lifting by installing an example content model, along with some sample content for me to play with. And when I land on the pages list, I'll get a brief tour of the features. Now I'll show you how to create and manage pages in Compose. I'm gonna to switch to a different space that already has some help content for the release of Compose and Launch, along with a preview environment for checking my work. I wanna show you how Compose works for day-to-day -day tasks. First off, the page list only includes pages. None of the child entries are here to complicate the user's view. So if I wanna update the intro to Contentful page, I don't have to look through hundreds or thousands of unrelated entries to find it. I'll start by creating a new page, and you'll see that all of the page types are listed here as options. I wanna create a help center page for launch, and when the page editor loads, I'll be dropped into the page settings tab, where I can give my page an internal name, along with some basic SEO settings. Now I'll switch to creating the content of the page itself. For those of you who have used the Contentful editing experience, you'll notice that it's fairly similar except that as I add references and nested content, you'll see that they just expand magically within the editor. 
there's no double clicking to go further down the content model tree. We're still taking advantage of structured content here. It's just arranged in such a way that as an editor, I don't have to think about it. And it's a much smoother experience as a result. I can add text, assets, and all of the content types that I'm used to in Contentful. In the content fields, I can even use third-party apps like Shopify for e-commerce, Cloudinary for images, and Mux for video. I can also add existing content from this space, linked references like re related pages, and metadata like categories. Compose also supports localization. This site is localized in English, German, and French, and I can easily switch back and forth between editing in each of those locales. Once I'm happy with my page, I can click to publish at the top here. Publishing in Compose is built from a page-centric perspective, which means that when I click publish, the entirety of the page will be published. There are some finer grained controls for handling linked content, but the goal is to avoid a situation where an editor thinks they've published a page, but they've forgotten to publish all of the references and maybe a few of the assets. Next, I want to show you an existing page with a much more complex structure. I haven't mentioned it yet, but this is where the content overview really shines. It represents all of the content for this page. You can see the different references, their corresponding fields, and any linked content. I can expand and collapse sections of the tree to simplify my view. And I can click on any specific reference or field and be taken straight to that element for editing. One challenge that editors have with structured content is making sure that they've added all of the content that's required. So I'm going to purposefully remove some content from required fields, and you'll see that error indicators appear in the tabs and in the content overview. This also applies to the locale switcher, in case you've left a field empty in another locale without realizing it. As you clear those errors, the indicators disappear. Once I'm done with my edits, I can preview this page the same way I can see previewable content from within the web app. We know from talking to content teams that previewing is a critical feature for their workflow. And that's all for the Compose demo. I hope you can see how quick and easy it is for an author or editor to manage web pages through this simplified experience. We've gotten a lot of enthusiastic feedback from our early access customers, including one customer who said, this feels like a much easier jump for someone coming from a traditional CMS while still staying true to Contentful's structured content roots. Now let's take a look at Launch. Launch is about publishing a lot of content with high confidence. I've personally talked to customers who love our scheduled publishing capabilities, but still get up at three in the morning to make sure that a big campaign was published as expected. Publishing lots of content at once can be scary, and we're hoping Launch will help our customers sleep through the night more comfortably. Unlike Compose, Launch doesn't require any special configuration. In fact, it doesn't require any setup at all. You just install Launch into a space, and it gives you a planner-centric view of all the publishing and unpublishing events in that space. I've installed Launch in our Help Center space here, and I can already see some of the content that was scheduled to be published and unpublished in this space. If I click on any of these, I can view and edit that entry in the web app. Early access customers have told us that this calendar-based view alone lowered their blood pressure because it was explicit about what's happening when. The new concept that Launch introduces is called a release, which is a container for content entries and assets. I'm going to create a release for the Compose and Launch help pages that I just created. And the first step is to add the content. I can use the tools in Launch to do this, and I'll find the Compose and Launch help pages that I created, along with a few standalone assets that I want to publish with them, and quickly add them to my release. Looking at the content in my release, previewable content is shown here at the top, and all of the content can be filtered by content type. If I need to open an entry in the web app to make a quick change, I can do that here too. The last piece of the launch puzzle is workflows, which can help coordinate work within Teams. Workflow states keep track of how entries and assets are coming together in a release, and I can configure the flow in this tab. As editors work on content entries, they can assign them to workflow states from the web app. Going back to my Compose and Launch release, I can see the workflow status of each piece of content and update it as needed. Once the release is ready, I can use the validate function to ensure every entry has its required fields and will publish safely. This is specifically designed to reduce the stress of a scheduled publishing event. Then I can click schedule to set a publishing date closer to our release on March 16th. If this content were temporary, for example, and had to come down after two weeks, I could schedule this content to be unpublished on that date. 
The nice thing about launch is that even if March 16th needs to change, it's much easier for me to adjust the publishing time of all this content in one place. Once my publishing events are set up, I can find my release back on the publishing calendar. As one of our early access customers said, operators have no idea what else they have scheduled, so this calendar view is super useful to avoid issues. That's a quick demo of the new Contentful apps, Compose and Launch. We can't wait to see what amazing digital experiences our customers will build with them. And now that they're in the market, we look forward to your feedback and suggestions to continue improving them. Compose and Launch are both available as a free 10-day trial to anyone who's interested, and enterprise customers can start using them in their spaces right away. Some of our largest partners have already started building with Compose and Launch. Thank you to Huge and Kin and Carta for being here to share their experience during our early access program. In the meantime, you too can log into Contentful, install Compose and Launch, and start building.